So here he is out of the blue corner, the number one heavyweight contender fighting for the title here tonight. Daniel Cormier has eight championship belts at home. Do you remember, though, the nerves for your first UFC title fight? It's the most overwhelming thing you've ever <laughs> felt in your entire life. You are sitting in the back waiting for that moment where you get an opportunity to go chase something greater than yourself. So many people have played a part in getting this man to this spot. How does he deliver? How does he not let anyone down? How does he ultimately become the champion of the world? This is a big spot for him. He is so excited to try and become the man. While self-belief is a powerful thing, he has long thought that he is the best heavyweight in the world. Tonight, he gets a chance to prove it. UFC heavyweight champion, and man, does he have all the confidence and the self-belief that comes with that distinction. Yeah, when you're the baddest man on the planet, you are confident. You have to be a bit arrogant, a bit cocky, and that's what this guy has. He has been here on so many different occasions. This is like another night in the office, but you could never tell by the way that he prepares. When you watch him prepare, he treats every one of these defenses as if it's the first time he's fighting for a UFC championship. No, you put that well. He has had that patented intensity about him this week, trying to occupy some headspace in the challenger. Huge heavyweight title fight is upon us. Won't be long now, folks. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Vicious. Herb Dean is your referee, Ready, he's the third man in the Ready. octagon tonight. All right, here we go, up for grabs tonight, the title of baddest man on the planet as we get set to crown a UFC heavyweight champion. Beautiful setup to the left. Oh, good sequence there, the right hand followed by the left. Oh, nice counter jab there. Nasty body kick downstairs. That was a nice combination there. He's able to slip the left there. Looked like he clipped him with a left-hand counter there. He's looking to land the right just out of range. Well, he blocks the shot there. Oh, there's that low kick. That'll leave a mark. Oh, how good is this? One minute into the fight, and we got a full-on brawl. These guys said that they were going to point to the center of the octagon, and they were going to fight. Did I believe them? No. So right now, I am so wrong. They are doing exactly what they said. Yeah, shades of Max Holloway against Ricardo Lamas back in the day. to connect there. 
Oh, you land, I land. Is that what we're doing here? Body attack, and it's blocked. Lands a jab. Well, this striker has come out swinging early, and you know his style is based on aggression, and largely it's worked out for him tonight. It's worked out for now. He's fighting, he's fighting exactly as he needs to if he wants to win this fight. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to start add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack, not being one-dimensional, not head-hunting inside the octagon. I, I think he has fought beautifully right now, and it's starting to show itself. Working out of that southpaw stance. Well, one got through, that kick was good. All right, so we're starting to see some swelling now, DC. We'll see if he can make some adjustments defensively. He's taking too many of these shots on top. I mean, he's got to move his head right away. He's waiting, he's being reactive. You got to be active in your motions before your opponent sets up their attacks. Right hand landed. Under two minutes now to go. Cannot take those leg kicks clean like that. Just misses there with the left. Oh, the roundhouse kick lands. Make the bad man stop. That's a big strike right there. Back and forth we go. Well, lands a good series of kicks there, DC. It really didn't take him long to get a good beat on his opponent. He figured the timing, and now he's been driving kick after kick into his opponent. Oh, well done to block that powerful kick to the body. Lands a shot to the leg. Under a minute to go. Right punch is good. The left also flush. Well, the striking clinic continues, and he's wise to attack that already damaged area upstairs. He's attacking the damaged area for the opponent. He's got to get that head moving on an axe. Cannot be straight on the center line. That center line, you got to get off of it. You cannot go forward without moving your head. Nice defense there, huge block. That leg kick lands. First round winding down here. Back to the leg kick now, that one's no good. Round two is next. All right, that's the end of the round. You see the cut on his forehead. The blood is trickling down. So we'll see if that becomes an issue or more of a factor here later in this fight. He's taking way bigger shots than that. All right, that was nothing. Okay. All right, let us now take a look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. He appeared to open up a significant cut on his opponent's forehead with one of those strikes. A lot of blood comes from the cut on the forehead. He did exactly what he needed to do to land a strike that would open up a cut on the forehead. Now that he's got the target, he has got to continue to go there. He's got to continue to land in that spot Ready. to try to get his opponent out of there. Of course, his corner imploring him to be more sound defensively. The cut man appeared to do a pretty good job. Let's see how this next round plays out. Wow, what a head kick! Oh, big knee to the body! Man alive! Oh, that right hand barely missed there. Oh, and that low kick. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. That was stuck in. Nice strike. Right. 
Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here, just out of range. Well, we got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV, but every time that area gets targeted, that cut is getting worse and closer, theoretically, to the end of the fight. Yeah, and you know, when you've got a person like this in front of you that is so good at what they do, when you are bleeding like this and the work is showing, you gotta try to find... Whoa! Head kick partially blocked. Well, he rocked him, but couldn't finish him. He rocked him, he hurt him bad. He couldn't find that one shot to close the door. Could not shut the lights off. And now, he's tasked with trying to find that shot again. Nice shot to the Well, you know this is the hurt business, and both guys are compromised at this stage of the fight. Yeah, both guys are compromised. Both guys have been beat up. Both guys have done a great job of landing, recognizing what they wanted to get done, and it's showing. This is a very evenly matched fight. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Oh, nice slip there. It sounds simple, right? Hit and don't get hit, but this guy's defense has been sharp tonight. Cat and mouse, you gotta play cat and mouse. Hit and don't get hit, he does a great job of that. All right, so as a result of one of those leg kicks, he is now limping. He hasn't been rendered a one-legged fighter, but his mobility has absolutely been compromised. Well, you can check it right now. It's easy to see. You can see that this guy has struggled. You can see that he's very, very hurt from these leg kicks. Even checking the kicks now will not help because the damage has been done. Well, a really good second round for him thus far. After a somewhat lackluster first round, he has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Just over two minutes now to go in the round. Strong kick there. All right, so a seminal blow earlier in the round. It wasn't a knockdown, but it was certainly a stunner that caught his attention. Oh, I mean, he got... Oh! So he continues to attack that area above the knee and digging right into that thigh. He's digging into the thigh. He's doing a great job of recognizing that that's something that he can land, and he has landed it effectively. Oh, yeah. big elbow. Back and forth we go. Well, he's certainly keeping busy, DC, connecting with most of the punches he's thrown. I mean, punches and bunches. He's doing a great job. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Oh, is that a big knee to the body? We'll see if he can follow up. Oh! Oh, big left hook there. Oh! Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Really finding the kicking range now. Another one lands there. Oh, that's a brutal cut on his nose there. He is bleeding. Under 20 seconds now to go. Final seconds here. Chins on them. Huge shots being landed on both sides. Oh, standing oh. round and another five minutes coming up. All right, so the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. You ready to fight? You ready? Round three of a possible five. 
All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat. Both with good rest and heart rate, stamina is still very high, and you just have to laud the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10 plus minutes of fight. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Beautiful punch lands. Oh, significant strike attempt there. Goes to the spinning kick, but he misses. Big power shot there. Oh, my goodness, what a kick. When both are prepared, these are the types of fights that we expect. Out of range with that kick attempt. Head kick. Oh, right hand gets up to block it. Well, you can sense the corner frustration. He has not had any answer for these body shots, and now you see the physical damage. Well, his coaches are wondering, where's the defenses? We worked on this. We knew this would be an attack that they would come with. Why are you not doing what we've trained? He's got to change something, man. He's got to tuck that elbow. He's got to roll and turn. He cannot continue to take these body shots. Oh, they're trading huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. His leg is hurt here. You can see him limping a little bit. Beautiful jab there by the champ. Oh, nice jab. So we have crossed the midpoint in this one. Connects with a beautiful jab. Nice left hand by Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment, John. It may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do, eventually it will show itself. Right now, it's starting to show. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Lands the inside leg kick. What a great job getting that kick to the target. Oh, wow, how about the roundhouse kick? Man, that cut is so bad, you wonder if at some point that is going to start to affect his breathing. Big shot lands for both guys. Oh, the head kick lands. Well, now these kicks are really starting to pile up since he found his range. This could be trouble. Beautiful strike there as he continues to attack that cut. Cut man's going to have some work to do if we get to the stool between rounds. But that's why we got the best in the business. We got the best cut men in the business, and they are going to need him right now because this cut is getting worse. Oh! Oh, nice right hand. Strong outside leg kick. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. Thirty seconds to go in the round. Really good job by the fighter to land that kick. Changes his stance. You'll see a lot of this from this fighter. Oh man, that cut not in a good place, and it's not getting any better. Final seconds here. Big elbow there, Lance. What a fight so far.
All right, we're going to stay with him and follow him back to the corner to the stool because that is a really severe cut that he is dealing with. We'll see if the cut man can stem the bleeding here. All right, let us get you some replays from the damage in that previous round. Perhaps we can even isolate the shot that opened the cut. I mean, just some big shots landed over the course of that round. And he wasn't responsible defensively. He was trying to tough out way too many situations. You can't do that when you're fighting a guy like this. If he doesn't change something, he's going to find himself in trouble. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. Fourth round, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, here we go, fourth round of a possible five. And this is the time where fighters are really tested, right? Dig deep, lean on the heart, we'll see who has the up. You feel pretty good in round number five. Round number four is the one that really does test the fighter. It really does test the metal of the guy inside of the octagon. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Unable to land the head kick there. All right, so the redness is omnipresent now. He has absorbed a whole lot of body strikes. Pretty good poker face, but I'm not sure how many more of these he wants to take. No, he doesn't. He needs to do something different. He cannot continue to get beat up like this. But it's on his opponent. It's on the guy that is landing these strikes to continue down the path until he makes you change something. Do this over and over because it seems like this is your easiest path to victory. Able to check that kick as well. Chin down, hands up. This work. All right, so the blood continues to be a major factor in this fight. And I think at some point the referee is going to intervene here, DC. He hasn't been able to change anything, right? So it doesn't, we have no indication that he's going to be able to stay in this fight. The cut was open very early. And now we're at a point where it's going to be stopped due to all the blood and how limited he is in trying to stay in this fight. Trading game shots. Let's see who's going to be the last man standing. Oh, beautiful count. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly has a big on the feet. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. Under three minutes to go in round four. Ooh, what a head kick. Well, this is getting hard to watch, and sometimes you hear us say a fighter is too tough for their own good. Anybody want to save this athlete right now? Yeah, this is, this is a classic case of that, where a guy is just too tough. He's not going to win this fight. He may as well throw in the towel. I mean, his corner can stop it, the referee can stop it, the doctor can stop it. Somebody needs to do something because this fight is over. Well, an incredible fight thus far. Both fighters look like they could be finished at any time. If you wondered about the heart on either side, that question was answered to nothing. There are no more questions in regards to these two fighters. Both of these men have been hurt. Both of these men are swollen. They're bloody. They're both, even though though, they're both willing and ready to continue this fight. Going orthodox now. Start to look to finish him now. Good work, guys. Right? Come on. Oh, yeah. Wow, what a fight. And now the elbow. Back and forth we go. Nice placement there on the left hook counter. Well, he has certainly kept the punch counters big. Oh! Big right hand. Oh, nice low kick. Well, no denying the durability on the other side, but at this point, you just gotta find that close shot and get him out of there. A lot of times that comes with reps, that comes with taking your time. You get excited 
and you want to finish it because you think it's right there. But at times you just overswing and you miss a lot. He needs to slow down if he wants to get his opponent out of this fight. Oh, beautiful job to get the kick home to the body. Huge kick lands again. Oh! Beautiful diving strike. Right back. Right back. Oh, we got blood now. 13 steps in. Oh, my goodness. What a fight. Well, make no mistake about it. He is getting two paychecks tonight as he gets the big TKO victory. Wow. That's unbelievable. It, it was crazy to watch his finishing instincts on display as he got that massive victory. It was amazing, John. It was amazing. Bruce Buffer inside the octagon with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 37 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by TKO. And still, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Vicious. So there he is, and still the baddest man on the planet, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. He successfully retains the title here tonight and does so by TKO. Nice embrace there with the head coach. This is a celebration that is going to continue all night long tonight. Not only did they defend the belt, but they get the style points they sought by virtue of that TKO. Congratulations to the and still best of the big men.